In this video, we will discuss if vampire bats do exist in nature, and if so, we will describe their role in the ecosystem, and if human beings are on the menu. The bat in nature is a fascinating animal in its own right. The question is, do vampire bats, that is bats who get their nutrition from blood and blood alone, exist in nature? Surprisingly, the answer is yes. There are over 1,400 species of bat worldwide, of which three are vampire bats. These are the common vampire bat, the white-winged vampire bat, and the hairy-legged vampire bat. Vampire bats can be found from Mexico and North America all the way south to Brazil, Chile, and Argentina in South America. These bats roost, that is, sleep and raise their young, in caves, trees, abandoned mines, and buildings. The common vampire bat tends to hunt at night and feeds on both domesticated animals like horses and cattle and wild animals like the tapir. It has been observed that they prefer domesticated animals, notably the horse. These bats use echolocation to track down their prey. Echolocation can be described as a form of biological sonar. They then approach and bite the prey in the neck or rump, followed by using their tongues to lap up blood. Their saliva contains an anticoagulant that stops the blood from clotting. Bats of all kinds are truly remarkable animals. But do vampire bats really consume human blood? Are humans on the menu? Yes, the common vampire bat does bite and draw human blood. However, it must be noted that in many cases, humans are only targeted when alterations to the habitat cause a decline in the population of regular prey. Link in the description below. The hairy-legged vampire bat was previously thought to feed only on birds' blood, but has been observed to consume mammalian blood, including human blood. Yikes! Another item of note about vampire bats is that some are a reservoir of the rabies virus and can transmit the virus to humans and cattle upon biting. The common vampire bat is responsible for the transmission of the rabies virus to humans in Brazil and is also responsible for annual economic losses in the amount of $30 million in Latin America. Link in the description below. With the white-winged vampire bat, virus transmission is relatively uncommon but has been reported in cattle in Trinidad. I do not say this to scare you about bats in general, as most do not have rabies. However, when a person awakens and finds a vampire bat in the vicinity of the sleeping quarters, it is essential to seek medical attention. Link in the description below. This is because bites can be pain-free. This is particularly true with children who may not notice bites from these animals. So to summarize, of the over 1,400 species of bats worldwide, three species are considered vampire bats because they feed on blood. Their saliva has an anticoagulant that allows them to take up blood without clotting. The rabies virus can be transmitted to humans and cattle when they receive bites from infected bats. Before you go, why don't you check out this video about how the giant Burmese python originally from Southeast Asia was brought into the United States because several misguided individuals thought it was a good idea to keep this snake as a pet. This snake was subsequently released into the Floridian wild and has done and continues to do tremendous damage to the ecosystem. Thanks for watching. Cheers.